Are we good now or no? Oh, nah, we golden. We perfect right now. All right, uh, all right so let's get back to it. All right, so now the fight's over uh, with Devin Haney and your brother, and all this starts to come out. Um, yeah. As a as a brother, how, how do you take that in, and how do you see your brother like from now? Like you know, mental I mean, health. I, is I, big. I know my brother, and I I I can hundred percent said say that that's all bullshit. Like from the jump, I was like, that's bullshit. There's no way. My brother's not like that. He's never have. My brother don't even know where to get shit like that. You know. So I just knew for a fact that yeah, it's gonna blow up because of who Ryan is. And it, the accusations are going to be crazy. But in the end, you know, God will shine the light. And the light was shined. So I'm, I'm happy that Ryan stood, you know, his ground. And um, the truth came out. So we'll see what Devin has to say now. I mean, I don't know why Devin's still on this shit, bro. Take the loss and just figure out what you got to do next. Like, why are you so worried about what another man is doing and all that? You got your ass beat. Take an ass beating like a man, and that's it. Move on. Fight someone else. Or fight Ryan. Why you think... Now, you said fight Ryan. Ryan publicly said he don't want to do the rematch. Do you think he does? I, I don't know. I, I think he's down. He just wants the big fights to happen. So, I mean, I, I want him to fight Virgil. When I seen that came out, I haven't talked to him in a in a, in a, a good moment. But I, I, I just seen that, so I would love to see him fight... Uh, Virgil. Either Virgil Ortiz or a rematch with Devin. But I just feel like there's there's no point of doing a rematch. I mean, it's not like it was close, you know? I mean, the reason why for a rematch, because he, he is pop. Devin does have a fan base, right? And, yeah. you know, his fan base is screaming, you know, cheating, cheating, cheating. Um, as, as people that, you know, if you believe someone cheated, you should go get your get back as, you know, what Miguel Cotto did with Margarito and, and so mm-hmm. forth. That's why people want to see it. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and, and, and that's understandable. Was- I, and I, I know Ryan gets that and that's why he was open for a rematch, but does Devin want a rematch? You know, he hasn't been saying too much of saying, Oh, I want that rematch. Fuck that. You know, right. he's just been saying like. Uh, the accu- he, he's been supporting the accusations, but he's not really speaking like, no, no, you ain't fighting nobody. Let's get this rematch, you know? So I think Devin's a little scared, too, to call for that. Uh, now, and if it is a rematch, I would say maybe next year, you know? Because, right. yeah, that was an how effort. Does the, how, how does the rematch, how does the rematch go in your eyes, knowing that you're a fighter and knowing that I'm not saying you got beat down like that before, but if you did get beat down like that before, mentally, you got to be going in there different. And that's what what might fuck you up, you know? Because mentally, you're like, I don't want to get fucked up like that again. I'm going to play it very smart. So you'll see, like, the real real fear coming out of a man when you take an ass whooping like that and you don't want to get your ass whooped like that again. You know, some people are built different, though. I don't know. I could be wrong. Some people can take an ass whooping and be like, I'll never get my ass whooped like that again, and then come back even stronger. Maybe Devin does. I don't know. We'll see when they get back in the ring. So we'll mm-hmm. see. But I know Ryan won't fuck around either. So you think Ryan would just be like, all right, I'm not going to do it again? Nah, he's going to try even harder to take him out. So Devin would have to train even harder than what he already did. So we'll see what happens. What do you, what do you think went wrong? Where do you think the like the gray area went when it, when all this shit came out with Vada? What with the uh, you know obviously the results that Vada came up with, and now what Vada's saying today? I think people lost a lot of money, you know, and I just feel like, I mean, Devin Haney's been with Vada for I don't know how, or that one guy or the snack. I don't know. I don't really know too much about it, so I don't I don't even know if I should speak on it because I really don't really know shit besides me defending my brother. You know, and I will yeah. always defend my brother. So I'm just being real. I don't know too much about Vada. And um, I can't talk shit because I mean, I could talk shit because that's that's a wrong accusation. And for you to like really try to, you know, take away Ryan's win and his victory, I can say that's a scumbag move. But I can't really speak too much about it besides defend my brother. So if you want to hear me keep defending my brother, then I can keep defending my brother. But I can't talk on um not, not not on a on a like as far as like they're talking about um 
like contamination. Yeah. Uh, maybe I maybe know. like a possible company job. Mm -hmm. uh, that's and with, like <laughs> these things. What you and with well, Ryan's team, Ryan's team, you know, uh, he has a strong team. You know, they don't they don't mess around. Uh, they're gonna dig and find the truth, and that's what they did. They found the supplements, I guess, where Ryan was taking. And you know, we all as boxers, you know, there's there's supplements you could take. You know, there's a lot of things. There's fat burners. You know, there's there's a lot of things you can take that's not illegal. We're not we're not here to cheat. You know, we're just here to you know be at the best. And sometimes you need the best supplements for that, for recovery, for um, uh, for for your joints, for I don't know whatever you're gonna need. It's not like you're not taking anything. You know, you need to be strong. Um, and to keep going because as a boxer, you train three, four times a day, you know, your body hurts. It can't, it needs to recover. So it needs those supplements. And that's what, uh, it came out that there was, uh, I guess, uh, that, and this is what I'm hearing, you know, Offering, the oxygen, yeah. Or, yeah, it came out that it was contaminated. And, um, so we'll see where it goes. Um, but like I said, I'm defending my brother, you know, I personally think that there was no way that that man will ever take steroids. And I I'm, I can 100% say that. Now, what other people think, I don't know. I can't control. So, I mean, I think he's clear. So, we'll see you at the next fight. Right, right. Now, because, you know, your, your dad spoke a little bit upon, you know, um, the situation as well. And, you know, he, he seemed to me that the same way as you, just like... I don't know about Vada. I didn't know Victor Conti was about Vada. So it seems to me that Ryan was on the same wave. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Repeat that. You know, you like you said, you don't know too much about Vada. Your yeah, dad didn't know too much about Vada. Do you yeah. feel like that's that's what Ryan's case was too? He didn't know too much about what was going on with that. I, mean, with Vada? I don't know. I just know that they're uh, voluntarily uh, tests. You know, like where they test because, uh, and they're volunteer. Uh, like you, you're supposed to. Uh, I know what I know what I'm trying to say. Like I know, but I, I would have to look more into it before I say it, because um, yeah, I'm not gonna say that yet. Only because I don't know. Like like again, I don't know too much about all that testing stuff. So um, I feel like uh, Vada Vada is always gonna be in the game. I think because. Uh, I don't know. You don't get tests by, yeah. Let's go. Um, going at 3:30. Honestly, bro, I don't know. I don't know too much about that test. I really don't. Until you know, I t uh, test with Vada, then we'll see what happens. But I really, I can't speak too much about that. I don't Did know. I hear that? Did I hear that correctly? Until what? I test with Vada, you going to test with Vada? I mean, if I get a big fight and I'm, I have to, you know, they go, oh, you're going to take the test? Well, then I take the test. If I'm blessed in that position, then we'll see what happens. But I, I get tested uh, by um, other, like, uh, other, like there. I get tested there. The doctors test me, so. Yeah. Or a pee sample, you know, something like that. But I've right, never right. played Mabata. So you wouldn't volunteer? Well, volunteer. With, um, with Mabata? I mean, I just feel like that's stupid if you pass these tests that the commission's doing for you, and you pass those, and then you go to Vada, and then for some reason that's when Ryan got popped up. That's the word, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're that's why they're saying, oh, Vada is a voluntarily testing thing, but it's not really voluntarily if Ryan had to do it, you know. It's not, it's not yeah, yeah, yeah. To get tested so by that, the commission. Yeah. So you're not voluntary. Uh, um, uh, corporation, you're gonna have to test about it. So that's the weird thing. That's all I know. That's all I'm gonna say. I could be wrong, and uh, just don't quote me. No, nah, I understand fully, yeah. fully, fully. Do you do you feel like um, this this is something that uh, the Haynes can get over? They should, or else they're gonna be fucking have their hands in the pants for the rest of their life. You know, so move on, bro. You you're blessed. You're so blessed. Use it for something else. Why you keep talking some shit? There's other things going on in the world. With your life, with the whole world, the world's life, like just move on, you know? You got, you're got you so blessed. There's other things you need to worry about. So take a fucking ass whooping and that's it. Did you see that documentary uh, speaking upon uh, uh, Haney? 
No, I, I don't really watch too much on boxing, to be honest. Oh, okay. So, yeah. you, you know, a lot of people were speaking upon the weight situation coming into this fight and, you know, looking at uh, Devin Haney's reputation of being the bigger guy coming into the fights. This time around, it seems to me that Ryan is around the same size. Do you feel like that was a big difference in the fight? Or is it just the power of the left hook? Um, no, I mean, Devin Haney, was, I think, was heavier than Ryan that night, right? How do you know that he didn't weigh in? I really, I don't know, but that's what they're saying. And then Ryan, I don't know. He he probably came in probably like with one forty. Probably came in at least almost twenty pounds over, and which Devin does that all the time. It's been proven. So um, I just feel like I just feel like Regis, Ryan. Regis said it was karma. It's, it it could have been karma, or it could have been bro. Ryan's really about that. He he can hit you. He may not be the prettiest. He may not be looking the prettiest in that ring. He is the prettiest like outside the ring, <laughs> but he's not the pretty. If he's not the prettiest, because a lot of people say that his flaws, they just pay attention to the flaws. But one thing a person can't say that motherfucker knows how to crack. He knows how to crack somebody, and um, that's what he did with Devin. He may not have looked the prettiest, but he did crack that fucker. So, so didn't didn't Ryan fight uh, Virgil in the amateurs? Yeah, 